this video we're gonna add a custom domain name so Microsoft give by default a name your name dot on Microsoft.com but if you own your own domain name and you want to add that that's what this video is gonna show so if you don't have your own uh, domain name or you're happy with the one Microsoft give you can uh, skip to next video so let's see we want to add our um, custom domain so we're gonna do that in um, Azure AD Active Directory we scroll down to custom domain names and here we're going to add a custom domain so what uh, mine's going to be brint.cloud yours going to be whatever name you own of course and i could have written microsoft.com or mcdonalds.com or whatever i want but i will have to prove that i'm actually owning this uh, domain and how can i do that by either adding a record type in the, the domain in the DNS, either TXT or an MX. I'm gonna go with um, text for this time, TXT. So I have my domain at Google, and here's burns.cloud. I'm gonna manage this one and add that uh, entry to prove that I'm actually the one who owned this domain. So I go to the DNS here. So we said the type was a TXT, right? and and hostname probably an at sign yep i'm gonna copy this one Control c not that much to copy maybe uh, time to live how long will the record live that's the default one destination and point address this is the unique to show that i'm actually the one who own here so we put that in the data so I'll add one more record just to see that it shows up. Then I remove this one and save. Leave this empty if you mean. Yes, that's what I did. Okay, I'll leave this one empty then. So, what's name? Okay, hope that's right. So we're gonna verify, that's a bit quick maybe, we just added it. Well, we'll see. Verify and see. So now um, Microsoft's gonna go to um, Google's DNS and ask, hey, about prints.com, do you have a record, a TXT record with this value here? If it gets a yes, it no. okay, great. It's, you are the owner of this one. That made, excellent. So it's a custom, it's verified. So it's not the primary domain. So if I create a new user, they will still not have a brins.cloud. I can go back to that. We're gonna make this primary, but I just go back uh, here and show. So here, brins.cloud is verified, but the primary is still uh, brins.cloud.onmicrosoft.com. I want this one to be the primary. So we just check make primary. Do you wanna make uh, brins.cloud your primary domain? Yes, please. And there it is, it's uh, done. So now it's a primary. So if I would create a new user or a group or whatever, it's anything. So you see here my uh, UPN, user principal name is prints.cloud on microsoft.com. I actually want that to be just prints.cloud. But if I create a new user, let's you see here it come by default. I can still choose the old one, but that's the primary one. So I could create the test Test, 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 test on, and out generate the password. That's fine, and create this user. And then you see the UPN is uh, brints.cloud because that's our primary domain. I'm going to change this one to have that as well as uh, the primary. I'm going to do edit. email I'm gonna change my UPN rents dot cloud I'm gonna change the email as well rents dot cloud if it accept these changes I'm still logged in with the previous one excellent so quick recap 
we have added a custom domain name, one that we own, and we have put that as primary, so all new users will get that. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.